First, I want to talk about one of my many best features, creativity. It's the skill that allowed me to claim a taxable income last year of negative $48. <laughs> now, everyone knows conservatives have a monopoly on creativity, while people on the left are historically very uncreative. It's a, it's a scientific fact that the left brain controls math, whining, and sadness, <laughs> while the right controls creativity, horsepower, and flexing. <laughs> And for concrete evidence of conservative creativity, look no further than the response to last week's deadly shooting at a Santa Fe, Texas high school. Now, this is America's 23rd school shooting so far this year. And the unimaginative liberals are singing the same old tune. We have uh, more lax gun control in this country, and that's why we're having more shootings. Easy availability of guns. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, uh, guns, 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 guns. <laughs> Saying something over and over again doesn't make it true. Hashtag no collusion. <laughs> but while the left can only think of one answer, the creative right has come up with so many different things to blame for our school shootings. Abortions, video games, trench coats, <laughs> Ritalin, violent media, doors. <laughs> And according to NRA board member Ted Nugent, unhealthy diets. Yes, I mean, Ted knows the real threat is junk food. I mean, who can forget that iconic scene from The Deer Hunter where they spin a can of Monster Energy Baller's Blend and then just chug it. But don't just listen to Ted. Take it from a guy who's always on the right side of history, brand new NRA president, Oliver North. He knows what's causing these shootings. We're trying like the Dickens to treat the symptom without treating the disease. And the disease in this case isn't the Second Amendment. The disease is youngsters who are steeped in a, in a, a culture of violence. Yes, see, no one knows about a culture of violence like Oliver North. The guy is literally an animated character in and a paid consultant for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure in level three, his character takes the time to explain to the kids playing why violence is so wrong. <laughs> but the free-thinking conservatives didn't stop there. Uber creative Tennessee representative Diane Black has an inspired explanation for the shooting that she told a group of pastors last week. Why do we see kids being so violent? What's out there? What makes them do that? Because as a nurse, I go back to root cause. Pornography. It's available. It's available on the shelf when you walk in the grocery store. Yeah, you have to reach out to get it, but there's pornography. In there. Yes, yes, it's available. The root cause of shootings is disgusting, high shelved grocery store porn. <laughs> And that's not even considering all the store brand porn on the bottom shelf. <laughs> Just thank God no one tells kids about the internet. <laughs> so thank God as well for the conservatives are pointing to all the right causes of school shootings. Porno, Ritalin, trench coats, the media, unhealthy food, video games, doors. <laughs> I, I mean, if you step back and look at what all of those explanations really add up to, I mean, the real threat to our kids has never been more clear. <laughs>